Hey guys, now we're doing the driving video on this 15,000 mile 1973 Cadillac Sedan DeVille in Diplomat Blue. Before we hop in and drive, I want Anthony to go around the outside of the car so you can see the car in the natural light. And keep in mind, when I, when I video these cars and photograph these cars in, in the interior um, showcase area, showroom area, I've got tons of these high intensity LED lights. So sometimes the colors don't always look exactly like it looks in person. So you can see here, this is outside the natural light. It's a little cloudy day, a little sunshine, and trying to peek through, but that's what it actually looks like. So, um, that's probably Christian. Anthony, if you want to hop in, we'll, hop, we'll crank the car and go for a little test drive and check all the equipment on it. So it's relatively cold start. I cranked it just to get it out here. We'll check the equipment, go over everything, let you know what works, and if there's anything that doesn't work. All right, so it's a very chilly day. I guess the Carolina weather doesn't know what it wants to do. One day it's warm, one day it's cold. So let's start with the wipers working, horn works, front driver window, front passenger window, rear driver window, rear passenger window has power window locks okay also has power seats forward back tilt front tilt back up and down so every switch on there works as well air conditioning works we had it worked on air is cold am fm eight track as you can see the antenna does work Power. It goes up a little way on its own, and then you got the switch that you continue with, but it does work. So they're just going all the way up, you go all the way down with it. So you guys can see it works. The rear defrost, we're going to assume that works. And the clock, let's see what we've got. It looks like we have an inoperative clock. Let me wind it, see if it starts ticking. These clocks typically don't work. Far for the course. All right, now put our seatbelts on. Great. Here's your seatbelt. Clicker. Keep your seatbelt on. <laughs> we got a little bit of an issue here on this side, guys. And I just discovered it, so you're gonna find it. Yeah, sleep it. It's just gonna, it's gonna. This seatbelt on the driver's side will not retract out. We're gonna check into that. We're gonna to try to get that going. Anthony's side works. You see he's got it pulled out. But what's gonna happen now is we're gonna put this in drive. Oh my gosh. I'll plug like mine into yours. I don't know, try plugging yours in. Okay, oh, oh, there you go. You got it? I don't know, let's see here. Let's just plug it here for now. Well, that's gonna reach down and grab it. All right, a little blooper here, guys. So we got slight seatbelt issue. Anthony's works. Mine, I can't get the retract. So I'm going to call the pass or the driver's side seatbelt latch will not come up right now. We are going to try to fix that and get that rectified. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, let's go ahead and drive. As you saw, that the seatbelt buzzer does work. Pretty loud and aggressive, actually. Let's go for a drive. Don't, worry, have to, don't have to worry about checking the cruise because it does not have cruise. It's a fairly lower option car. But what makes this car to me is not only the condition, the miles, but the paint. I mean, this Diplomat Blue is gorgeous. The metallic in it really pops. Paint across the hood. I mean, it's got a heck of a shine to it. The guy that painted this car, Mark, did a hell of a job on it, I think. So let's just go ahead and do this driving video. You guys can see how nice it rides and handles. And I will... Uh, once the car warms up a little bit, we'll do a wide open throttle. So you can see that it does accelerate and pull like it should. Don't typically like to do that until the cars are warmed up. The mirror switch on for the passenger side works fine, perfectly. Mirror switch on the driver's side works fine. So everything in the car works like it should except the clock. It is riding really nice. Look. Put down on the carpets. I mean, look how nice the carpets, the dash, the headliner, the brocade seats. Now, these seats are actually, from what 
some of the commenters were telling me that you know leather was obviously the upgrade, but to me, this brocade, because it's got that fancy design, almost looks like it's the more expensive seat, which it's not, but I love the, the ones with the brocade interior, especially the ones that are in this kind of shape. Turn signals work. Tiny little bit of play in the steering wheel. Go ahead and show, show the steering wheel. I mean, it's not massive, but there's a little bit of play right there, but it does drive nice and straight. There's no shakes, no shimmies. Really smooth driving vehicle. The brakes feel good. They stop nice and smooth. No pulsation. And we're going to get that seat belt looked at ASAP. It's probably just hung up in a little retractor. No big deal there, but guys, I, if I know something or I catch, I just caught that, I didn't realize it wasn't working right. So if I know something, I'm gonna tell you about it. And if we find it, we're gonna to try to address it to the best of our ability before the auction's over. And if we can't get it addressed, then we're gonna say, hey, you know, here's your issue. That's, you know, that's what, that's what you got. So um, just kind of stand by on that. Only got a couple days left. I'll see. I'll do my best to get it rectified. That's all I can tell you. And we missed a stoplight for the wide open throttle. So we'll slow down right here real quick and give it a good stop. Four barrel kicking in, pulling good. Shift's good. I think pull's pretty nice. It's got a lot of torque. So there you go. It's doing what it's supposed to do. 15,451 miles on it right now as we speak. Any questions, put them in the comment section. You'll see this on YouTube first, and it's soon to be on... Uh, well, it's actually not soon to be on Bring Trail. It's on Bring Trail now. So when, when you look at this on YouTube, I'll have the link so you can click on it to see the... Uh, bring a trailer auction. There'll be hundreds of pictures, close to 400 pictures, and then multiple videos. So check it out. Good luck, guys. Bid all you can. Thanks.